What's going on everybody? It's Joel here and today we're going to be doing the review of the Zoom Metcon Turbo 2. So even though there's a slight change in the name, the Zoom Metcon React Turbos are the follow-up shoe to last year's React Metcon Turbos. And with this year, the marquee feature is the Zoom airbag that they added into the drop-in midsole. Beyond that, there's actually quite a few changes. A lot has happened between the React Turbo and the Zoom Turbo. A lot more than what normally would change in one year. So I'm gonna assume that they still are using the same tooling, the outsole's predominantly the same thing, but a lot has actually changed in the way that these shoes fit and namely the upper. So first off, let's talk about the construction of the shoe. So the Zoom Turbos now have a single mesh that goes pretty much throughout the entire vamp of the shoe. There's some overlays on the side of the shoe and that's where the lacing stays. And then at the back of the shoe, there is a ripstop type material and there's a mesh around the ankle collar. And I think this year they had changed the heel rake on the shoe to make it so that the heel fits a little bit better and there is less heel slip between the two shoes. The tongue is for the most part the same. It doesn't have the opposing fabrics or anything, but it's kind of have that offset kind of style to it where it goes around the front part of your ankle or shin and it actually fits pretty comfortable. I had actually no issues with it last year. Uh, the laces this year are slightly different. I thought last year's laces looked a little bit better, but when it came to like pulling the shoe tight, they were kind of a pain. So this year is just a normal style, almost like rope lace, but it's, it's not cheap, it feels good, it doesn't come untied, can't really complain about it too much. Uh, there is still fly wire on these and it connects into these little tabs on like the side overlay. So I think because of the single mesh on the toe box, these shoes fit pretty wide. I actually think that these are one of the wider fitting training shoes at the moment. So moving on to the outsole of the shoe, there really isn't that many differences in terms of what changed? The forefoot is basically the same exact thing. The heel is basically the same thing with that kind of like hexagonish shape to it. It is still glued in place, but I know that was an issue or that was something that people were worried about with last year's model, but never really became an issue. So I wouldn't worry about that heel area coming undone. Now the rope channel pattern has changed slightly on the Zoom Turbos to have this kind of like knurling pattern throughout it. And I will say that while it is slightly better than last year, these are still some pretty terrible rope climbing shoes. And I would not recommend using these for rope climb days at all. They're just, they're usable, but it's not what I would say is a good rope climbing shoe or even a sound rope climbing shoe. All right, so now moving to the drop in midsoles between the two shoes, which basically have the same exact construction. They're both made out of that React foam, as you can see on the side right there. They both have pretty much the same exact shape. It still has that middle TPU plate that the Reacts did, but now the big marquee feature of this year is that these have a four foot zoom airbag that you can actually feel when you have these shoes on, it's actually pretty pr prominent. It actually kind of pushes up on the balls of your feet and it's not uncomfortable, it's not distracting or anything, but you definitely notice it there. And in terms of what it feels like to use, it does actually add a little bit of pop to your step, which is actually, I thought that I wouldn't notice it that much, but for certain movements, it is actually very noticeable. The overall like feel of the midsole though is fairly similar and I wouldn't say that there's a huge difference in like overall day-to-day -day performance between the two midsoles. And one thing that you can definitely still use because it is a drop-in midsole is the hyperlift insert that they gave you on the Metcon 5 and the Metcon 6. It fits perfectly right under the drop-in midsole there. 
And if you were a fan of that, that might be something that would push you to the direction of the Zoom Turbos over the Metcon 7. And it feels like this year the drop is the same as it was last year. I got confirmation from Nike that is a four millimeter drop with a shoe last year. So I'm gonna say that that has not changed and it is still a four millimeter drop for the Zoom Turbos. Now one thing that hasn't exactly changed for the better but still isn't too bad is that the Zoom Turbos have a little bit more heft to them. I weighed a men's size 10 in at 12.7 ounces, which is pretty much the same thing as the normal Metcon 7. All right, so when going to size your Zoom Turbos, I'm gonna recommend that you go with your normal training shoe size this time around. If you had to size up with the React Turbos from last year, just go with your normal training shoe size. I actually feel like the Zoom Turbos are one of the more wider fitting shoes on the market right now. Definitely compared to last year's React Turbos, which kind of had a tight toe box, the Zoom Turbos this year have actually kind of a wide toe box. The midfoot is pretty normal, but the toe box is actually surprisingly wide. If you were one of those people that didn't use Nike shoes because that they were generally on the narrow side, the Zoom Turbos might actually work for you. And if you were really, really worried about it, then I would recommend maybe trying the half size up. I did try the half size up. It was the only one that was available at the time when I purchased them and then I had to wait like a, a month or so for my normal true to size to come in and I was able to use the 10 and a half just fine. They were pretty big, pretty sloppy feeling, uh, but they were usable, but I way, way greatly prefer the true to size fit of the Zoom Turbos and they actually might be my favorite fitting Metcon of all time. There's plenty of space in the toe box without feeling sloppy. The mid for the shoe has Good enough space, there's no real arch or anything like that, doesn't really bother your feet. I also really like the change that they made to the heel rake to make these shoes feel a little bit more secure around the ankle. Now one thing that I forgot to mention in the construction part of this video is that these shoes squeak like crazy. And if that bothered you with any of the previous Metcons, it actually might be the deciding factor when buying these ones because I think that these squeak more than any Metcon of all time. So if you had to be quiet when you were training or walking around or doing anything, then I would say that might be a deal breaker for you with the Zoom Turbos. So last year I thought the React Turbos were a pretty good training shoe to do your running in. I wouldn't say that they were the greatest shoe of all time, but they were definitely one of the better ones. And in comparison to like the Metcon 7, which have a pretty stiff heel, I think the React Turbos are still a fairly good option for running. The React Foam was nice and snappy, it was bouncy, it wasn't super soft or anything, but it was nice and responsive, it was comfortable enough, and the shoe was overall flexible. I think that this year's edition of the Zoom airbag in the drop in midsole makes these even better for running. Much more than I thought it would actually do. Uh, repetitive movements like running, double unders, box jumps like that, you really get the utilization and the benefit of that Zoom airbag in the forefoot. So if you're a heel striker, they're still going to be pretty miserable to run in. It still has that clunky, almost dress shoe-like feel at the heel. But if you're used to running towards the midfoot, forefoot of your strike, then I'd say you're going to really like running in the Zoom Turbos. So you can pretty much just copy and paste whatever I said about running to plyometric movements in the Zoom Turbos. That Zoom airbag really helps out anything where you're having to push off of your forefoot. I noticed it the most when doing box jumps. I was doing some high box jumps and I was surprised at how little effort it took me to get on top of that 30 inch box. And this was after like a few sets of deadlifts and I felt like my legs were gonna be super tired, but it really was not an issue. I was able to just pretty much sky on top of that plyo box. I didn't really notice it so much on longer sets of double unders, but I'm sure it was helping me out getting those sets done. It definitely was not detracting from sets of double unders. The, the React midsole is very responsive and it's easy for me to track where I'm doing my double unders. And burpees are also another movement where it's easy to just 
spring back onto your feet with these shoes. So for lateral movement, I thought the Zoom Turbos were not the best. They have these outriggers on the heel and the forefoot that give you a little bit more stability when cutting, but the upper of the shoe does not hold your foot in place all that great, and you will feel your feet kind of shift outside of the shoe or want to sh shift outside the platform of the shoe. And that can be a little bit distracting for high torque movements like devil's press, for dumbbell box step overs, and for cutting movements. All right, so when it came to lifting, I thought the Zoom Turbos were actually pretty good, but not that much better than last year's React Turbos. Not that much has changed in the overall platform of the shoe to really make me think that it was any better or any worse. It's definitely not worse than last year's, but it's not vastly better. But I thought last year's shoes were actually pretty good. The React Foam did not ever feel like it was muddy when doing my lifts. Uh, when it came to like the slower lifts, I thought power delivery was pretty good. Like I was able to deadlift up to 500 pounds. They were definitely not my favorite deadlifting shoe um, just because of that drop in midsole. And I typically have never really liked deadlifting in uh, Metcons just in general. But I think for most people and most lifts, they should be fine. Admittedly, I haven't been squatting all that heavy. I pretty much only did up to like my 80% in these shoes, which I feel like is the sweet spot when doing your lifts. These shoes are really good up to like 80, 85% of your one rep maxes. And I think that's kind of like the limit for them. Maybe not the limit, but that's what I feel comfortable taking it up to. Uh, when it comes to like overall stability, I think something like the Metcon 7 is definitely gonna be better, but for a overall day-to-day -day training shoe, I feel like the Zoom Turbos have plenty enough stability to go along with the actual just comfort and the day-to-day -day usability of these shoes. When it came to Olympic weightlifting movements and barbell cycling in the Zoom Turbos, I thought that they fared probably just as well as they did for the slow lifts, maybe a little bit worse. Now you do get a slight pop from the Zoom airbag in the forefoot of these shoes, but the overall construction makes them feel a little bit loose and it does lend itself to making your foot not really feel like it's locked in place. With the React Turbos of last year, since they were a little bit tighter, they did fit your feet a little bit more snug. So I never really ran into that issue last year and I felt like some of the snatches that I did were not as stable as I would have liked in the catch, but overall I thought that the shoe fared just fine. Just keep that in mind when you have these shoes on, you might wanna tighten them a little bit more than normal when you go to do your Olympic weightlifting. All right, now in conclusion, the Zoom Metcon React Turbo 2s retail for the same as they did last year. $150. Now, when thinking about if you should upgrade from last year's model to this year's model, I honestly don't really think that if you had any issues with last year's shoe that it would be worth the upgrade to this year's shoe unless you like really love them and really beat them up and you were just due for a new pair of shoes, then I'd say, yeah, go ahead and upgrade to this year's model. But if you had a perfectly good pair of Metcon React Turbos, then I'd say you could probably take your time in upgrading to the Zoom Turbos. Overall, I do think that these are a better shoe and I actually find that these are a better day-to-day -day shoe than the Metcon 7s. They're a little bit easier to live in, they're more comfortable, they're more flexible, they actually fit me a little bit better. That more open forefoot is really comfortable, even though it's not as good for certain things like cutting and weightlifting. I think that overall, it just improves the day-to-day -day livability and usability of the Zoom Turbos. And if you were never planning on lifting to like one rep maxes or going super duper heavy, then I actually would say that you should probably just go with the Zoom Turbos over the Metcon 7s. They're, like I said, a lot easier to live in day to day. I think the styling is a little bit better. They don't have that gaudy rope guard or anything. They obviously don't rope climb that great. And if you 
were one of those people where rope climbing was not even something that you did, then I would definitely say that the Zoom Turbos were better than the Metcon 7s. But if you are a CrossFitter that needs to rope climb and needs to go for one rep maxes, or that's what you wanna do all the time, then I'd say the Metcon 7s are still going to be the better buy. But even for me as a pretty devout CrossFitter, I actually find that these Zoom Turbos fit my lifestyle a little bit better than the Metcon 7s. These are easier to wear day to day, they're easier to coach in. I don't really rope climb all that much, it's probably like two times a month, and even when I do, I have shoes that I dedicate to rope climbing days. And even though I really like the Metcon 7s, I'll probably find myself in these Zoom Turbos more often this year. So if you guys have any questions about the Zoom Metcon Turbo 2, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.